Morning guys, so how do you explain to your patients what manipulation is and uh, why you intend to use it? Because it's really important that when we're using these techniques in clinical practice, patients actually understand what it is we're trying to do, why we're doing it and what we're intending to achieve with it. It's not as simple as just crack it and see you later. So if you come and see me in clinical practice as a patient, what I will say to you is, I think manipulation is appropriate for this area. I'm intending to click this joint. Why am I going to click this joint? Well, I'm looking to create symptomatic and functional modification. I want you to move a bit better and I want you to feel a bit better. That is temporary. It's a short window of opportunity, but it will allow us to get you into a phase where we can then do exercise rehab, uh, education, advice and self-resilience and self-reliance in a positive attitude. Um, I will say to my patients before I'm about to click something, OK, I'm going to put a manipulation thrust into this area. You may or may not hear a click. That doesn't mean the technique has not been effective. We'll test it, treat it, retest it, look for tangible change. The key thing, guys, we keep it simple. We explain to the patients what it is that we're looking to do, what the outcomes we're looking for to achieve, the clinical reasons why we want to do it. Uh, and that way it stops people misinterpreting things and thinking that we're putting stuff back in, changing anatomical position, which we all know we're not. So it's the KISS mnemonic, yeah? Keep it simple, stupid, right? Not saying our patients are stupid, but keep it simple. So when my patient says to me, all right, Giles, you're gonna click something, why? Well, I'm simply gonna to try to make you feel a bit better and move a bit better by creating symptomatic and functional modification for an area. Boom.